Prince Harry has recently turned his attention to a tricky problem, social media and its impact on the youth. This revelation came during an interview with social psychologist Jonathan Haidt, who authored The Anxious Generation. In an exclusive video shared with Fortune, Harry dramatically declared, in many cases, the smartphone is stealing young people's childhood. Just smartphones wandering around like thieves in the night, snatching up innocence like candy from a baby. But don't worry, Harry's here to save the day, or at least throw a few jabs at social media companies. The crux of Harry's argument, it's all the fault of the parents. According to him, social media companies conveniently shift blame onto parents, saying, well, you know, this is down to you. This is down to your parenting. Q hate, who seems to be sharpening his metaphorical knives to take a swing at Harry's take. Hate retorted, If there were some parents who were getting this wrong and most parents were getting it right, then I'd be very receptive to the argument. The moment kids get their hands on smartphones, family life morphs into a bizarre battlefield over screen time. Who knew that parenting would evolve into a warfare scenario reminiscent of a South Park episode? Speaking of South Park, remember the Chin Pokemon episode? Young Kyle wants to buy the latest must-have toy, only to face resistance from his father until he plays their Everyone Else Has It card. Gerald, like a well-trained circus animal, gives in. Height and Harry are the Geralds of this modern age, whining about how the tech companies are the real villains. But who buys the smartphones for these kids in the first place? Who gives the green light for children to bully others for not having the latest gadget? Hate continues with his profound observations, claiming Generation Z went through puberty with a supercomputer that blocked almost everything else in life. So who's to blame for that? Oh, that's right, parents. Those same loving guardians who once deemed it a good idea to put TVs in their kids' rooms but then flip their lids when adult programming airs too late. As Hate so astutely noted, young people are trading in their flip phones for smartphones. But how do they manage this switcheroo if they aren't working? Who's picking up the tab for these shiny new toys? It's the very parents who are supposedly wringing their hands over social media's harmful influence. It's like watching a bad sitcom unfold, where the plot twists are so ridiculous that you can't help but laugh. One would think that part of the conversation would involve teaching kids how to be individuals, which typically comes from parents telling them if everyone jumps off a bridge, but here we have Hate, a mental health expert, fretting over his 14-year-old daughter, potentially being left out. So he essentially teaches her to conform to a group that might just be a toxic swamp. And let's not overlook Harry's magnificent ability to sidestep the issue of responsibility. Instead of addressing the elephant in the room, he points fingers at others while conveniently ignoring his own responsibility as a parent. It's a comedy of blame, with Harry and Hate as the reluctant co-stars pointing fingers while the audience rolls their eyes and chuckles at the absurdity of it all. As Harry and Haight navigate this minefield of parental responsibility, we're left wondering if anyone will ever take a step back to see that. Perhaps the real culprits in this tragedy aren't just the tech companies or the smartphones, but the very people who keep buying them for their kids.